we're not here to as a promotional for LS. We're not. We're here because I got some flack when I bought an LS tractor. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> So not everything's perfect. Let's talk about a few features in the cab that I think LS could improve on. So we're going to kind of take turns here. We're going to kind of talk about a few things that I think and, and Jason thinks it could have been better. Um, I, I'm going to let Jason start off. Well, to really start off, I think uh, the big thing is to talk about the sun visor or vision roof and how the actual sliding uh, mechanism is put in. I mean, they just use Velcro to hold it in with a, a, a goopy paste that just melts in the, in the hot sun in the summertime. And you, in the summertime, if you go to pull that visor back, it is just gooey. The Velcro stays stuck t to the other side, to the actual sliding piece. And then the part that's supposed to hold that on there is all goopy and gross. And it is just really, really poor design. Um, I get that they're trying to keep that visor closed while you're out in the field and, you know, the tractor's bumping around. It could shake loose and could move on you. But they definitely could have done a better job. I agree with that. I think uh, you also don't care much for the glass itself, do you? No, I mean, it's really not necessary. I mean, they could have they just taken it out entirely and then... You know, you don't have to worry about any of the heat that's going to be coming in through that roof. I mean, even even during the summertime, even with it shut, you can still put your hand up there and you can still feel some of that heat coming through that plastic. And, you know, it could have been done better. That, that's really all there is to say. One of the other things that I felt like that I did not like uh, or don't like very much in the cab is some of the plastics are, are just cheap. Now, I... I have to say that other, we're going to talk about this in other videos, but some of the plastics in, in a lot of the tractors were cheap. Uh, they just weren't, they, they don't seem to want to put any, uh, any quality into anything anymore. I mean, the reality of this plastic is cheap and, and that's why they do that. So, I mean, you kind of got to look at it from that perspective as well. I, I agree, but the, you know, we, the, the, the thin plastics, it's over time. We're going to have to keep that plastic, you know, lubricated with some type of, of protectant and, and so forth. And we'll get into that later on. But at the same time, uh, I think they could have done a, bit, a little bit better job. Just looking at things like the glove compartment, what they are, the glove box that they put on the side there. It's, it's on my left side here. They, they, it bows. It's got a bow in it because it's just cheap. It's just not well designed. Um, they could have done a much better job with that. Make the plastic a little bit thicker, maybe double walled the plastic. It would have been much better. I don't think it would have added that much to the cost of the tractor. Um, it's just something that it's just, it's just a small thing that I think they could have done a better job with. So those were, those were a couple of things. Well, you got anything else? Well, um, kind of in that same kind of plastic uh, realm, I guess you can say, is the, the down on the right side uh, where your actual handbrake is or parking brake to be able to put the tractor, uh, to, st to start the tractor, you have to have that engaged. To get out of the tractor uh, with it running, you have to have that engaged. So you use that handle a lot. And the actual plastic grip that they did on it can slide right off. I mean, it's not the easiest thing to get off, but I mean, over time, when you when you crank up on that thing, there's pressure applied to the end, towards the end, and it can come off. And you can actually wiggle it off if you give it give it some uh, strength behind it, and and you know you can get it off of there. But they could have done something better. They could have definitely put probably a rubber grip on it, um, maybe something similar to how they put 
grips onto actual golf clubs. They use a tape and then they actually slide that rubber on there that has an adhesive to it to keep it stuck to that metal. Um, that could have definitely been done a lot better. Yeah, every time you reach down and you, you pull up the brake, the handle, the, the, the head orange handle just about comes off in your hand. You got to be real careful pulling it up. And when you're putting it down, it does the same thing. It kind of twists and turn. I think they could have done a much better job with that myself. So one of the other things that I, I don't like, okay, it, it's, it's not uncomfortable and it's not a, it's not a, um, it didn't break the deal on buying the tractor, obviously. Um, but it's the steering column. I'm not a big fan of the locking style steering columns where you have to push a lever and then it has a click in location or a ratcheting style location whenever you're you're moving that steering column back and forth i'm not a big fan of that i would rather have a friction style so you can stop it somewhere in the middle or you can stop it where it's most comfortable for you i like that much better than that that ratcheting style where you push it and it has this steering column only has three positions so you have a the upper position where it's all the way up and then you have a middle position and then they have a lower position and that's the only positions that you have the other gripe that i'm going to say about that while i'm there is the steering column is actually pretty low um and the steering wheel is low uh it doesn't it doesn't extend uh, it doesn't have that uh, ability to do so. Uh, if it had that, that would help out things quite a bit on the tractor. But uh, other than that, it's not a huge gripe. It's just something that, that I wish that they would have done a little bit better. So let's talk about a couple things that I think Ellis did a great job on, uh, on the interior. One, the layout inside is, is, is fairly nice. I mean, really it is. I, there's a couple, I, okay. I have some niches that I don't like. It's just because I'm tall. I have, I push the seat all the way back and stuff like that. And the loader handle for me is a little bit for, further forward than I would like it to be. It's not bad. It's not super uncomfortable, nothing like that. It's just something that I would prefer that it be a little bit uh, closer, but the layout the rest of it is in pretty good is pretty good i like it it's it's comfortable and everything is in a position to where it's easy to get to uh, i don't have any issues with that okay we talked about the plastics in the in the cab one of the things they also did though ls did a good job with is they made it easy for you to access under where the steering column is if you need to get into that location i've seen people having to stick their hands up underneath there trying to get to work on something all of that um, dash actually comes apart. It actually has uh, thumb screws or thumb knobs that you would you can actually unscrew them, and the entire dash just opens up, and you can get to every single thing. I think there's some fuses there and some other things, but everything's accessible. You don't have to try to dig your arm up under there or find a bunch of little screws and get them all undone, and you don't have to worry about that. I like the feature. I think it was a. I think it's a good design. I think somebody thought that through. Well, yeah. One of the other things, we talked about all the cheap plastic in there, and we did talk about that, but one thing LS did do is they used some soft touch. Uh, when what I mean by that is, is, you know how your dash is on your car sometimes, that you, you can push on your dash and it just kind of has a soft touch to it. Or uh, and, and LS put a little bit of that in there. And actually, the roof is soft touch in, the, in, the, in this tractor. And then on the, side, on the side here where you're getting in the cab on the, I guess it would be on, your, on the left side here, and that little section there is a, a soft touch, and that's where your buddy seat or your, your instructor seat would go. That's all soft touch, and I, th I think that's well done. Um, it, it's You still have the cheap plastic, and we talked about that, but still, the soft touch is a nice touch. Well, uh, I mean, this is, this is the cab itself. Um, the, the fact that it's a four-post cab, it really gives you a lot of visibility um, when you're out in the field and working um, you're having to look around and see where you need to go next if you're backing up um, being able to to see around you some of the the six post cabs the yes it's really nice that all the buttons and stuff may be on that on that column uh, in the middle on the right hand side but there's less visibility, I feel like, and being able to to see out is a is a big deal. So it being just a four post cab uh, of itself is, I think, uh, a really good uh, design and a good um, decision on LS part. 
So finally, guys, this is it. It was hard for Jason and I to figure out things to talk about on this video. I mean, because we were looking at the negatives and said, well, we got to let's come up with a few negative things to talk about. And they were hard to come by. Um, I, there's a lot more positive than there is negative. And I love this tractor. I really do. It's got lots of power. It does everything I've asked it to do so far. You're going to see some of those working videos, I hope, soon. Um, but until next time, thanks.